Hey gang, well, here it is, the old Walmart, sitting here, <laughs> closed down about uh, uh, five, six hours ago, something like that, I think that's when the last vehicle left this old parking lot, and as you can see, there's nothing here there's no shopping carts no employees just all the lights sitting there <laughs> you know I'll, I'll tell you honestly you know I've, I've lived here in Boonville for over 20 years and You know, I've I've watched this place go from being a place that was open six days a week for regular store hours to seven days a week regular store hours to becoming a 24-hour place to getting a new look on the inside to well, sad as it says to says to uh, sad as it is to say this for it to finally close down. It, it is kind of heartbreaking to see it, but the Super Center will hopefully bring in uh, a lot more money for this town and really be able to help people out, get jobs and everything that's really needed for this town. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean there's a lot, of, a, a lot of memories of this place. You know, this is where uh, my mom and my brother and I met the Junkyard Dog. Um... A lot of crazy things happen around this place. A lot of crazy things happen inside that place. I really wanted to go in there last night and uh, try to record one last time the inside of the place because I was going to go in there and get some toothpaste. But when I walked in there, I'm telling you, half the store was empty. Uh, there was hardly any food. There wasn't much in the way of sodas or anything like that. Uh, the usual brand of toothpaste I get, which is AIM, it was gone. <laughs> they had other brands, but AIM's the one I've been using for many, many years. And uh, so I wound up buying a 12-pack of Mountain Lightning. And uh, I feel kind of weird about that because I, I feel like in a lot of ways, you know, uh, I, I walked in there to... You know, basically to uh, to buy something, anything from this place. What what I hated to feel like was going to be one last time, and and I wanted to go over here and grab one more thing. But the sign out the sign outside of the uh, outside of the place said it was going to be closing down at five o'clock, and I knew there'd be no chance I could get over here. And uh, when I got up at about around three o'clock, this place was packed in the parking lot and uh, really honestly that was really no surprise I think a lot of people wanted to come here and buy out what they could one more time and I guess in a lot of ways it's kind of say their goodbyes to this place I mean this place has been here I'm, I'm not really sure when they put this here but you know like I said when, when my family and I moved here in 92 you know um, this place here, it was originally opened uh, six days a week, Monday through Saturday, regular store hours, and then they, and then when they decided to open up on a Sunday, because I guess they were in constant demand of opening up on a Sunday, uh, some friends of mine and I were here for the uh, big Sunday opening, and uh, we found out that the uh, manager of the place was black, and he was really, really nice guy, real friendly. He was very friendly to my friends and I, and he was really, really cool. Sadly, though, he didn't work here very long, because I guess he got word, you know, at uh, back then that uh, that uh, sorry, I was thought I heard somebody behind me. That uh, this town was quite racist, but since then this town has calmed down quite a bit. Um, it hasn't. Uh, it's not as bad as it used to be. You know, we have a Chinese restaurant, we have a Mexican restaurant, so everybody's pretty much getting along pretty well. But uh, but yeah, I, I want to come out here and. Um, kind of film a little bit of this uh no word yet on what they're going to turn this into there's there's no telling but i mean that's a lot of building to really 
take up for. I, I can't really see them tearing it down. Uh, I would imagine they're going to have everything out of there probably within the next few days. I mean, you can probably tell there's still stuff in there, and there's definitely stuff over there by the uh, gardening section. Uh, obviously, they may... I don't know what they're going to do with those things there. That's where the uh, shopping carts go. But... Uh, but I think ultimately, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really going to miss coming to this place. Uh, you know, a lot of people said that, uh, you know, my beautiful wife Sarah and I were lucky because uh, all we ever had to do if we wanted to go to Walmart, we'd just go behind our house and walk up this way. And uh, now it's like if we want to go to Walmart, we got to go across the street, which is a little more dangerous. But uh, <laughs> But still, you know... Uh, but this is, this is, you know, something I wanted to kind of do, and hopefully you guys will, will, you know, hopefully you guys will enjoy the video, but I don't want to end this on a sad note. In fact, I want to end this on sort of a happy note. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a quick story what happened, uh, years ago. Uh, it was a, it was a really hot summer day. My buddy JR and I were, um... We're going riding around on bicycles, and I, I mean bicycles. We didn't do the whole thing of you know, it's like, like one of us rides the handlebars, the other one pedals because we weren't into that kind of weird stuff. Um, so we were riding around. It was really hot outside, and we rode up here by Walmart, and we wanted to take a rest. Now there's a bench right up there by the ice machine, as you can see right up there. Maybe I can get a little close-up view of that right up towards there by that ice machine there's a bench there by the doors and um, we decided to take a little bit of a rest and we're just sitting there trying to cool down and everything like that and uh, <laughs> so we're just sitting there relaxing and everything like that and JR <laughs> goes off and actually says you know Oh, I wish, I wish I could see a topless driver. I don't know what brought this on. Maybe it was the heat getting to his brain or something. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, you're not going to see that, not anytime soon. But sure enough, as soon as he said that, shortly after he said that, a, a man drove by in a convertible with a top down. <laughs> so I kind of nudged him. I said, well, there you go. Your wish just came true. And he just told me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy so yeah like I said a lot, a lot of good memories of this place um, for some of my friends not to, not too many good memories because a lot of my friends were banned from coming here because naturally they, they thought oh I'll just go in here grab a couple of sodas walk out nobody will catch me and nine times out of ten they got caught <laughs> so so to the old Walmart who knows what's going to happen to it? Who knows what they're going to do with it? It's really hard to say. But, but to the super center, I I hope that it brings on good business, uh, you know, good business and good good money for the town, and really does a lot of good here. Hopefully, all this waiting around and and um, well, I hate to say the word hype, but yes, hype for the super center will do it all a whole lot of good. So to the old Walmart, <sighs> well, I can't say goodbye to it, not until they tear it down. <laughs> what they're going to do with it, who knows, but when I hear something that's completely solid that they're going to do with the old building, I'll let you guys know. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for walking down a old memory lane with me. So until next time... If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. Yeah, I gotta throw that in there. It's kind of my outgoing catchphrase. Oh, goodness. So until next time, stay strong and rock on.